Question 51. What is the number if 9 subtracted from its fifth multiples? 5x minus 9. The answer is 1. So 5x is equal to 10 after adding 9 to both terms. So x is equal to 2. Or you can plug in the values. Which of these values in the answers that if I subtract, if I multiply it by 5 and subtract 1, it gives me 9. You will figure out that the answer is 2. Question 52. Find the value of 0.1 times 0.2 times 0.3 times 0.4. Here I have a decimal after one place. And here I have a decimal after one place. And here I have a decimal after one place. And here I have a decimal after one place. So the answer should have four decimal places. And then let's multiply 1 by 2 by 3 by 4, which is equal to 24. 24 and four decimal places, so 0 0.0024. Another method that you can write this one as 1 over 10, multiply 2 over 10, multiply 3 over 10, multiply 4 over 10, which is equal to 24 over 10,000, which is 0 0.0024. Question number 53. If 3 over 4x equal 4 over 3y, then what is the value of 1 over x divided 1 over y? First, let's work here. 1 over x and keep change flip. Keep the first, change the sign, flip the second. This one gives you 1y over x. So I'm looking of the ratio of y over x. So let's go to the equation and say that. 3 over 4x is equal 4 over 3y. So I can write it as 3 over x over 4 is equal 4y over 3 by cross multiplication. So 9x is equal to 16y. Now, if I want to find y over x, y is multiplied by 16, x is multiplied by 9. So the answer is 9 over 16. This one depends on relay on the properties of fractions the properties of fractions if x is equal 1 what is the value of x about 3 minus x about 2 plus 8 x minus 1 so 1 power 3 minus 1 power 2 plus 8 times 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 plus 8 minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 and 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. So the right answer is A. In question 55, x squared plus 10 is equal to negative x plus 10. It's clear for us if 0 is one of the choices, the answer is going to be 0. But for any positive value, it will not satisfy. I am sure that the answer is 1, negative 1. Why? Because negative 1 squared plus 10 is the same as 1 plus 10, which is equal to 11. And negative x with negative 1 plus 10 is the same as 1 plus 10, which is equal to 11. So the right answer is negative 1. Question 56. If x squared is equal to 1, what is the sum of the roots? Roots, here it means the solutions of the equation. If x squared is equal to 1, it means that x is equal positive and negative root of 1. So it's a positive and negative 1. So the roots are positive 1 and negative 1. If I add them together, it will give me 0. So the right answer is D.
Question 57. If x over y is equal 1 over 10, and I am looking for the value of 100x plus 100y over 10x, you can simplify this one, or you can assume that x is equal 1m and y is equal 10m here. Or even you can assume that x can be replaced by 1, and y can be replaced by 10. So it's 1000 plus 100, which is 1100, divided by 10, which is 110. So the right answer is C. So by plugging in the values or by replacing X with 1, you can figure out the answer. Question number 58. If x over x is equal 4 over y, then double the value of x is equal which of the following? Double the value of x it means 2 multiply x. So 4 over y multiply by 2. And 4 over y multiply by 2 is 8 over y. Which of the following? Well, it's the same answer. We multiply y by 2? No. Multiply 4 by 2? Yes. We divided y and 4 by 2? No. Divided y by 4? No. So the right answer is D. The right answer is D. Question 59. Very easy question. 8x is equal to 64. So find 4x. Divided by 8. Divided by 8, so x is equal to 8. Now I'm looking for 4x, which is 4 by 8. And 4 by 8 is 32. So the right answer is C. Question 60. What is the third of a number that gives 8 over 12? Third of a number that gives me 8 over 12. So I multiply the right hand side by 3. I multiply the left hand side by 3. So x is equal. 8 multiplied by 3 divided by 12, which is 24 over 12, which is equal to 2. So the right answer is 2. Question 61. Which of the following value is the greatest one? Notice that if you have A over B divided C over D is equal to AD over BC. Don't forget this rule. So for the first one, it can be written as 1 by 2 over 8 by 1. So it's equal to 1 over 4. And for this one, it can be written as 3 by 3 over 5 by 5, which is equal to 25. This one is 13 over 22. And this one, if I divide it up by 2, give me 9 down by 2 give me 24 so we can notice that the half of 25 is 12 and 9 is approximately nearest to 12 and 9 over 24 approximately half 13 over 22 approximately half so the smallest value is 1 over 4 because the rest all of them give me approximately half or 0.4 in decimal form Question 62, 35% of x is equal to 25% of x is equal to 25 percent of 280. Find the value of x. 25% of 200 of 80 is quarter of 280. So Quarter of 280 is equal to half of 280 is 140. Quarter of 80 is equal to 70. 
again half of 280 is 140 and half of 140 is 70 so i'm looking for the number that 35 percent of it is equal to 70. how i can solve this problem i can solve this problem by multiplying 70 by 100 and divided by 35. so if i'm looking for 35 percent 35 percent of x equal to 70 so x is equal 770 by 100 7000 sorry divided by 35 70 divided by 35 is 2 and i put down the two zeros so it's 200 it's equal to 200 question 63 10 plus 10 x is greater than 16 plus 8x it's very easy question because all what i have to do is solving equation of first degree but this is not equation this is inequality but i'm going to follow the same subtract 8x from the left subtract x 8x from the right so 2x is greater than 16 and here i have positive 10 i can subtract them so 2x is greater than 6 so x is greater than 3. So the right answer is A. Question 64. 5 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 25. We all know that 5 power 2 is equal to 25. So this power, which is x over 2, should equal to 2. And in this case, x is equal Excellent, x is equal to 4. Common mistake that the students write that x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 2. Question 65. If y is equal x over 7 plus 10 and the value of x is 119, find the value of y. So y is equal 119 divided by 7 plus 10. So all what you have to do is to try to figure out what is 119 over 7. 11 divided 7 give me 1 because 1 by 7 is 7 subtract them give me 4 i put down the 9 so 49 over 7 is 7 because 7 by 7 is 49 so 17 plus 10 so y is equal to 27 so the right answer is b Question 66. 4 multiply 2 power 4 is equal power 6. 4 is equal 2 power 2. Multiply 2 power 4, which is equal to power 6. And it's equal 6 power 6. So x is equal to 2. An easy question. Question 67. What is the number that if we subtract 7? from 4 times it, 4 times it, the answer will be 1. So 4x is equal to 8 after adding 7 to both sides, so x is equal to 2. Question 68. If we multiply the number x by itself and then add double of it, what could be the expression? x by x is x squared and double it, which is 2x, so it's x squared plus 2x. x squared plus 2x. Question 69. If x over y is equal to 0.1, then what the value of y over x? This one can be written as x over y equal 1 over 10. If I flip the right hand side, I should flip the right the left hand side. So y over x is gonna be equal to 10. Because 1 over 10 when I flip it, it's equal to 10. So the right answer is D. Question 
Question number 70, if the third cubic of x is equal root of 9, we know that the cube root of 9 is equal to 3. And to move the cubic, we are going to make power 3 and here power 3. So x is equal 3 power 3, which is equal to 27.